We've been hearing a lot about Project Bluebeam, but what is it exactly? In 1994, Canadian author, journalist, and conspiracy theorist by the name of Serge Manast broke it down for us. But at that time, everybody thought he was crazy and nobody was listening. So why the rise of this information in 2024? Is it coincidence? Or was it because the things that he said actually took place, making it seem as if it was prophetic? After having his daughter taken away by the Canadian government in an attempt to try to silence him from speaking about Project Bluebeam, then one year after he got her back, him and a close friend of his who had finished their book and started issuing out information regarding Project Bluebeam both had heart attacks and died. Mind you, both of them never had any heart issues in their life. So what exactly is Project Bluebeam? Well, it's a four-stage process, and I'm going to break it down for you now. Stage one, as Serge Manas suggests, is a breakdown of all archaeological knowledge. In this phase, he suggests that these intelligence communities said that organizations and governments would work together to break down all the archaeological information and evidence that we have across the world, changing and reshaping history, to do things like change major events and even discredit the Bible and other religious texts. The second part would be to artificially create earthquakes and weather events across the globe. He said in 1994 that they would use advanced technologies to create massive earthquakes and holographic projections in the sky via satellite imagery and technology. The third stage was electromagnetic mind control. Mind you again, this was in 1994. In this stage, he said they would use electromagnetic frequencies to send thoughts and ideas ideas into people's brains. They would be transmitted messages by technological features. They're devices that people would have. And today we do know about BCI or brain computer interfacing where they can send signals through your watches, your cell phones, and other wearable devices, and also gather your thoughts and things that you're thinking and turn them into actual prompts. We also know about the voice of God weapon, in which Rand and the Department of Defense have purchased many of who can send messages from over miles away and focus those frequencies to a specific person, relaying them messages as if they were hearing from God himself. The fourth and final stage to this process would be a simulated alien invasion or the return of a false messiah. He said these projections in the sky from mass low orbiting satellites would be used to create screens and technology better than what you see in Hollywood, providing some type of extraterrestrial invasion upon Earth, which would be so real between the audio and visual that people would believe it's actually happening. He said there would also be flashes in the sky of Jesus, Muhammad, Krishna, and other religious leaders simultaneously converging into one person, bringing together a one world religion and a new world order, showing signs and wonders in the heavens to bring all people in the earth under one rule. So think about it. Between the wars that are happening on the earth, the technological advancements like BCI and Neuralink, all the low orbiting satellites that are going up into space, all the major advancements with artificial intelligence, including deep fakes, the multiple weather events that we now know about, including the use of directed energy weapons, and even talks by both the US and Israeli governments that an alien invasion is imminent. All the writing is on the wall. So was this a conspiracy theory after all? Or did they take out Serge Manast and his friend because they knew the truth and they wanted to silence the press him all the way back from 1994 before the truth could get out to the masses. The one misstep those who took him out made is that you can do all that you want to hide the truth, but eventually it'll be shouted on the rooftops. So are we experiencing Project Bluebeam or is this all just a coincidence? Let me know what you think about it. A big thank you to my partner, The Wellness Company. If you haven't picked up your emergency preparedness kits, please do so now. With all the things happening across the world, whether it be sickness, illness, viruses, wars, etc., it's important that you keep your family protected at all times. The top four things that typically go in an emergency situation are food, water, medicines, and ammunition. With my partner, The Wellness Company, you can click on my link and get all the supplements that you need, nutraceuticals, emergency preparedness kits with things like antibiotics, Iver, mm -hmm, and hydroxy, you know what. And not to mention telehealth visits where you can see a doctor virtually if you need to. And if you use my code Joey, you get $30 off of the kits, plus you get free shipping. Click on the link below in my bio or in the description, depending on where you're watching this, and take advantage right now.